Rated T for Teen. Deadly Creatures is an action thriller in which you play as two unlikely characters, the tarantula and the scorpion. We really wanted to get down on the level of what it's like to be these creatures. We want to portray their world and the creatures that they encounter as if you're living in a monster movie. We presented the stories of the tarantula and the scorpion in a way that they cross over each other's paths and the player gets to see the evidence of what one did in another area. We alternate chapters, play one chapter as the tarantula, then as the scorpion, but this fragmented narrative allows you to see events from both creatures' perspective. In addition to the rats and lizards and wasps that populate deadly creatures, we also have two very large, dangerous creatures, George Struggs and a man named Wade. Struggs, he's really the main bad guy of the game. He's this weathered gas station owner that lives out in the desert. Wade, he's more of your gun for hire, but not really the smartest guy. Throughout the game, you see them wandering through the desert, looking to dig up something or someone. And they're not after you, but every time they seem to be around, bad things start to happen. And you're seeing this story, this sinister plot unfold, and you realize that really the deadliest creature in the desert is man. We took inspiration for deadly creatures from our own backyard out here in Arizona. Uh, we looked around and saw that some of the coolest, most recognizable creatures in the world existed out here. Both the tarantula and the scorpion have such unique morphologies and unique bodies and attacks and abilities. They're so different than anything else on planet Earth. Now, most people don't want these creatures anywhere near them, but we thought that they would make terrific candidates for a, a game in which you actually get to use controllers. Being able to use the Wii mode as your stinger or being able to pull the wings off a creature just really felt natural for the Wii. Most games limit you to one plane, the ground. But in the game where you're playing as a tarantula and a scorpion, we let you crawl up walls and even across the ceiling. And we keep the camera with you at all times so that you always get this shifting sense of constant discovery as you're viewing the world from a variety of really unexpected angles. At the scale of these creatures, when you see man, they look like giant colossi. They're huge, the ground shakes, it rumbles. And you really see how threatening they can be. Everything in the environment, not just the rocks and the cacti and the roots, but all the man-made objects as well, feel epic and surreal and blown out of proportion. It's a really strange environment to crawl through as these creatures. We really took influence from the movie industry for our sound. All the music in Deadly Creatures was created in-house. It's not so much a soundtrack as it is a score. It really punctuates your experience in the game. Our sound engineers had a great time creating the soundscape and all the foley for the game. These creatures aren't making the sounds that you would normally hear them make. They're making these huge combat sounds, these crushing blows. So they used watermelon smashing and apples being bitten. Uh, we had to use a gamut of different materials to make this game really come to life. We've combined all of these elements to create a very unique gameplay experience in a really rich world that you haven't seen before on any console. You are in this creature movie. You are in this world, and everything out there is out to get you. It's kill or be killed.